Narrow band noise is a noise with a bandwidth equal or smaller than critical bandwidth, about 100 Hz below and 0.2 times frequency above 500 Hz. This picture here shows the masking thresholds of pure tones masked by narrow band noises at center frequencies of 0 0.25, 1, and 4 kHz. The level of each masking noise is 60 dB and the corresponding bandwidths of the noises are 100, 160, and 700 uh, Hz respectively. It is observed that the maximum of the masked threshold shows the tendency to be lower for higher center frequencies of the masker, although the level of the narrow band masker is 60 dB at all center frequencies. Moreover, the pure tones can be masked by low pass or high pass noise, pure tones and complex tones as we will see later. The slopes of the noises above and below the center frequency of each filter are very steep. They are more than 200 dB per octave in order to exceed the frequency selectivity of our hearing system. The frequency dependence of the threshold masked by the 1 kHz and the 4 kHz are relatively uh, similar. However, the frequency dependence of the threshold masked by the 250 Hz looks much broader. The difference between the maximum of the mask thresholds and this horizontal dashed line indicating the 60 dB test tone level amounts to 2 dB for the 250 Hz, 3 dB for 1 kHz and 5 dB for the 4 kHz center frequency. Ascending from low frequencies, mask thresholds show a very steep increase and after reaching the maximum, a somewhat flatter decrease. The increase amounts to about 100 dB per octave. This steep rise indicates the need for very steep filters, otherwise the frequency response of the filter and not what that our, uh, of our hearing system is measured. In this picture now, we see the dependence of mask threshold on the level of a noise center at 1 kHz. All mask thresholds show a very steep rise from low to higher frequencies before the maximum masking is reached. The slope of the rise seems to be independent of the level of the noise masker and the maximum always is reached 3 dB below the level of the masking noise. Beyond the maximum, the mask thresholds decay towards lower levels quite quickly for low and medium masker levels. At higher masker levels, however, the slope towards high frequencies becomes increasingly shallow. Therefore, the frequency dependence of the mask threshold is level dependent or non-linear. The non-linear rise of the upper slope of the mass threshold with masker level is an interesting effect which plays an important part both in masking and in other auditorial uh, phenomena. The dips indicated for masker levels of 80 dB and 100 dB stem from non-linear effects in our hearing system which lead to audible difference noises created by interaction between the test tone and the narrow band uh, noise. With increasing the test tone level, the subject reaches threshold by listening for anything additional. In this case, it is the difference noise and not the test tone that is heard. So we have here the different curves for different levels and we see a different. So this is the before the maximum and it's quite quick the slope and then after the maximum it's decaying slower and we see that for higher levels it's even slower and we have a broader let's say here 